My name is uh, Ibrahim Babagoni, uh, a professor of hydrogeology at the University of Maiduguri, uh, northeastern part of Nigeria. In the northeastern part especially, because it's a semi-arid area, yes. uh, groundwater is the perennial source of water supply for domestic uh, and agricultural. Of course, we have the uh, few three, four, five months of raining season where we have rain-fed agriculture. But beyond that, then groundwater is the source of supply, especially for domestic use. If you look at some of the basins there, as I said, um, because of the arid nature of the, of the area, surface water is limited. But there are some perennial river systems that get fed from the groundwater uh, that fits the surface water and therefore um, there are very few perennial uh, water courses. Um, in addition to that then you have the wetland areas in the northeast especially uh, and, and there too groundwater plays considerable role in terms of sustaining the, the wetlands in those areas. Uh, we said the area is uh, arid, semi-arid, and therefore groundwater is the year-round water source. And uh, because of that, then you can see the importance in terms of um, livestock, uh, watering, and, and, and uh, sustaining um, irrigation activities, uh, and therefore um, the, the, the livelihood of, of the communities in, in these environments. If you look at the, the system, the groundwater system as a whole, what we know in northeastern Nigeria is that we have three aquifer systems in the, in the Chad Basin area and, and similarly in the northwestern part, the Illumidin Basin where the focus of this, this um, research work is, is going to take place. Um, we have the shallow systems where most of now uh, the, the people rely on, but there are also deep sources. Um, what is crucial here in terms of management of water resources is what is the rate of renewal of the system and therefore recharge becomes very fundamental, understanding the recharge. We are still not completely um, sure about because there are various, um, is it, is it, um, diffuse recharge is it uh, uh, where uh, can we map those areas that that have diffuse recharge and those areas that uh, uh, have bypass flows etc these are also very important what are the quantities are uh, still uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, unknown in in them uh, so and this these are quite fundamental in terms of management how much is being taken extracted how much abstraction is going on? Finance, I guess, yeah. is the large because uh, for you to extract the groundwater, you must drill a borehole, and sometimes you must have you must power the the pumps, and all this requires resources. And sometimes, at that level, then uh, getting the the resources uh, is a huge challenge.